I think I went a bit overboard with the plants. I think I went a lot overboard with the plants, actually. Hello and welcome back to another video. That's not what I was supposed to say. Hello and welcome to Challenge Saturdays. I decided that Saturday would be for challenges. Um, so yeah, actually today is a very, very boring Thursday, but this video is hopefully going to be out by Saturday. So welcome to Challenge Saturdays. Today, I was thinking of a challenge to do and I was like, what if the land grabs found Moonwood Mill? Like, you know, Moonwood Mill is like an abandoned town and whatnot. But what if the land grabs found Moonwood Mill? They would turn it into a modern paradise. Renovate everything and like put the bitch on the market. They would. Uh, not like the Sims 4 um, land grabs. The Sims 4 land grabs have like a whole different like Nancy's like a villain or whatever. I mean the Sims 3 land grabs. The ones who like put their hands in every single world that came out. So in this video we are going to be doing a start of home renovation challenge. And for future challenge videos, I'm going to be going around to all the worlds and finding starter homes which we can renovate. But I actually came up with some rules for myself because we just love to make things a bit harder for ourselves, don't we? Firstly, we're going to start with the budget situation. So, for the budget, I figured there will be easy, medium, and hard. So, on easy mode, you have, you use the lot value. The lot value is your budget for the renovation of the house. Medium, three, 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 three quarter, three quarter, that, that doesn't sound right. Three quarters of the lot value and for hard mode, you half of the lot value is your budget. So for my video, I'm going to be going with um the medium mode. So I'm going to be going with three quarter, which is like about 12, 4, 46, I think. I'm not really sure, but that is our budget for the renovation. Secondly, we can only tear down a maximum of 10 walls and when i mean 10 walls i mean like exterior walls like you can tear down whatever you want on the interior but for the exterior you can only tear down 10 walls and we have one two three four five six seven eight that's not gonna work is it that's that's less than 10 walls so what i'm gonna do instead i'm gonna first of all get rid of that roof and then i'm gonna shrink this down take that so it's that's like two walls so we've got rid of two walls so we have eight more walls to like get rid of but then i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna move this lot a bit forward i'm actually gonna get rid of everything in the front before we start this video i'm just gonna say that um, i'm not that much of a builder i'm more of a decorator but we will try we will try so first of all i'm gonna get rid of these and then we're just gonna like do a bit of and for also for the challenge you can add a maximum of three rooms well you can play around with the floor plan you can play around with platforms you do what you want but you can only add a maximum of three rooms so then i'm gonna put some pillars if i'm building anything i'm gonna be using the experience pillar but maybe we branch out and use something different that's thick that's a thick boy maybe that i'm kind of liking that though or maybe that no I, i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to go back to my trusty experience pillar we love her we'd love to see her she's just my go-to okay she's just my go-to then for the roof situation i'm not really sure what to do but since we've added this porch i think we go for that kind of roof and then we just shove one behind it does that make sense i think that does does it look good i think it does i think it does when i think modern i think white or black but i'm gonna like try to break out of that i'm gonna try a bit of different colors maybe that i'm sorry i can't maybe a pink house actually i'm kind of not hating it i kind of like it i'm kind of loving the way that looks but then for the doors when i think modern i when i think modern doors i tend to go to eco lifestyle like eco lifestyle doors i don't know where it's gone does it yes that one i just love eco lifestyle doors i tend to use a lot of light colors in my builds and apparently we're not going far from that so i'm gonna go with that and then for the windows these mount komorebi windows i really like and we could just like put them together like that so maybe that i think that kind of looks nice and i want to put something here like a fence situation all these cool patio it's kind of big but i kind of like it that is 50 simoleons that is a lot but i kind of love the way it looks
Um, so, um, I'm out of funds, I'm out of money, I kind of forgot that I was doing a video and I just like kept quiet throughout the whole video, so I'm kind of gonna make it like a speed build, but I, I ran out of money. I mean, I did quite a lot on the house, 
I mean, I couldn't get to the outside. I want to make like a garden situation outside here. I couldn't like... I couldn't like... I didn't have enough money to do that. But I'm kind of proud of what I did on the inside. I'm going to like give myself a bunch of money and then finish what I originally had planned. <laughs>
Okay, I am done with the build. This was my original plan. I think I went a bit overboard with the plants. I think I went a lot overboard with the plants, actually. Wait, I actually forgot that you could actually change the roof pattern. So I'm gonna change that real quick. And I originally, like, I always go for these ones. Which I think I'm still gonna go for because I'm a boring bitch. But this is the house. I will put it on the gallery, I guess. But I kind of went for no, that's not the way we're looking, babes. I kind of went for like a modern vibe, but also like I live alone kind of vibe. And I also like designed it the way I would design it if I lived here. But we have a rocking chair, and I also put this blanket, it's custom content actually. A lot of the stuff in here are custom content, I apologize. But most of them are actually originally from the game. And I moved this thing over here because I put a bookshelf here. I'm not really sure it's safe to have a bookshelf close to a campfire, but it's the Sims 4, nothing's gonna go wrong. And then I have the bedroom with the hanging lights. It's not really much. It's a bit boring if I say so myself, but that's what we're going with. I also put some pillows and I have the bathroom, which is, it's small. So I didn't want to like put too much stuff in there. And I also made it like, added some dog stuff because if I ever leave alone, I would definitely have a dog. And I also made like a gaming setup with the play buttons. I couldn't find like the actual play buttons. It's nowhere to be found. Okay, but I put some play buttons because, you know, fulfilling dreams and stuff, you know, the dreams, dreams. And I also stashed a bunch of plants everywhere. And I put this telescope in here because like, I don't know, it seems like something I'll be interested in, you know, looking outside. Actually, my view distance is set on low, so I can actually see the sky. But it feels like something I'll be interested in. We have the three monitor set up. We have the gaming chair. We also have... That is too close, babes. We also have our play... Our play 4. PlayStation 4. And then... The outside is a little garden. I don't know how you're gonna reach that because there are a bunch of plants. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. So they seem impractical. I'm gonna leave the grass. You can... No. Right. But we have this. We have sprinklers. And... Yes, I put in the froggy chairs because... In what world do you have a backyard and don't put in the froggy chairs? That's a question I like to ask myself, you know? And we also have a grill and we also have this campfire from the new camping kits. I don't know what it's called. And we have some doggy training stuff. So, I think that is it. That's... Okay, I'm just gonna shove that more box there. There we go. But I think that is it. I think I did a real good job. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Over today, I'm gonna like link my Twitter in the description. So if you go ahead and try this challenge out, make sure to tweet me on there. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And also, while you're in the clicking mode, consider following my socials on screen or in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good damn bye.